Hey guys, so I'm back with another video today. I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I blinked out these pink slides. I'm going to be doing a leopard print look on the white lettering only, okay? So keep watching to see how I did it. So we're going to begin by taking off the factory finish coat with some acetone. This is really strong acetone. This is why this happened. I almost took off too much white. So you have to be very careful on this. You have like, you know, cheaper acetone. Um, you know, but I didn't have any deglazer to take off the, the top coat. That's why I had to use acetone, which is basically the same thing. So that works just as well. You just have to be very careful. So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to file it down just a little bit. So the glue goes on nicely and the rhinestones stick on perfectly. Remember, just on the section that you are going to bling out, okay? And once you're done filing it down, wipe down with some alcohol so it can take off all that dust. Moving on, I got my Angelus paint ready to go. If you don't have that, Sharpie's highlighters work just as fine. So don't worry about it. Don't waste your money going out and buying some Angelus paint, but that's what I'm using. So I'm gonna go on the letters, draw the leopard print out. This is how it looks. So I painted on the pink spots. I did two coats of that. And now I am doing the black outline. For the leopard print so there is no need for perfection when you're doing leopard print the whole point is that it's something that's not identical you know it does you don't there's no need for you to be doing any straight lines you know the whole point is that it's natural that it looks natural so i'm just going around you know you go as you feel, you know, what looks good. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just going around painting it. And you know what? I actually love how it came out just like this painted. I mean, I really, really liked it. I almost just left it like that. I didn't even like want to bring it out anymore because I really liked it. So. I think what I'm going to do is go buy some more slides and just paint them and leave them like that because it came out so cute. But yeah, so like I said, no need for perfection. Don't be scared, you know. Just draw it on and it'll come out beautiful. So for those of you guys that don't have Angelus paint at home and you don't want to go waste money, I'm pretty sure you guys got Sharpies and highlighters at home. So you can use that. It works just as well. You know. It's just for the base. There's no need for you know to go all out. So you do the same thing that I did with the Angelus paint. You just draw on your spots. Random. Does not have to be perfect. You know. That's the whole point of the leopard print. And then you just go over it with your Sharpie. The same way I did, I'm doing right now with the paint. Just with the Sharpie same thing so i actually did do it on one letter you can see the light p i did that with the highlighter and the sharpie i didn't have a you know pink sharpie that's why i had to use a highlighter but it works exactly the same it's just for the base you know and look how it came out i just love how it looks already just like that so i am gonna leave that p like that so you guys can see how it looks once you put the rhinestones on so here you can see i already am putting the rhinestones on i am using size ss8 for the black i'm doing my outlines first to help me so all i have to do is just fill it in with the pink ones keep it super simple and super easy and for the black you want to keep the rhinestones the same size you know you don't really want to go you know random sizes on the black outline because it's the outline you want it to look neat 
you know even though it's leopard print you want it to look neat once you fill it in you can have random sizes because i do and that's what i did i use random sizes to fill it in but my outline the black part it is one size size s is eight so i went on and did that to all the letters and these are my results so it looks super cute already look at the p that i did with the sharpie and the highlighter it looks exactly the same as the other ones it's just for the base this is why i'm saying it doesn't matter if you don't have angela's paint just use what you have at home so i figured it needed a little something else so if you know the leopard print does have some random spots also so i went on and added a little bit more black to it i drew it on with the sharpie there was no need for me to go and pull out the angeles paint I told you sharpie works just as fine i drew on some little dots and then i bling those out with the ss8 because i want to keep it you know the same pattern so I filled those in and I'm happy I did it because I felt like it gave the letters more of a natural leopard print look so yeah so I would suggest you do it too so I am done with the sandals I hope you guys like them look at the final results I love 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 how they came out they're super cute I suggest you try it out I mean you know easy quick and easy project to do at home so i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you liked it subscribe and i hope to see you guys in my next video thanks for watching